What's up guys, aka Summer Minimouse here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to successfully run a Game Boy Advance emulator on your jailbroken iOS devices. Now for this demonstration I will be using my iPhone 5. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is go into Cydia. And just wait for it to load. And from here, we're going to go to Manage and Sources. Now, you're going to have to add two sources. You click Edit, Add. And then in here, what you want to add is this, iHacksRepo.com. And once you've added that source, do the same process and add this source as well. apt.ipodtouch is a pro.org. Now, once you've added both of those sources successfully, what you want to do is go into search. And we're going to start by downloading the emulator, which is the application to run Game Boy Advance ROMs. So type in GPSP. Now the one you want is the cracked version, or you could uh, buy the paid version to get updates, but it's on this source. Uh, and you can download any one of these. Uh, as long as it's not blue, the blue means you have to purchase it. But if it's not blue, uh, you can install it for free. So once you've installed GPS phone successfully, you want to go back to the search, and now we're going to want to download the GBA BIOS file, which lets you run the ROMs. So type in GBA, and it should come up. The second one is what you want, uh, with the exclamation mark. Do not put these or any other ones because they don't work. So click on the exclamation mark with the GBA BIOS. And in the top right hand corner, just click install. Once that is done, you're set to put ROMs. Now, the two sources I gave you, uh, they do have ROMs straight from Cydia, which is pretty nice. Um, so you don't have to go to your computer and import ROMs to your iOS device. So, say you want to download Pokemon Emerald, because that's what all of us play on the Game Boy. So Pokemon Emerald first or second one does not matter. You could click that and once again top right hand corner just click install. Alright now after that is done you are set to run the application. You have your ROM, your GBA BIOS bin file and you also have the emulator. So now you can exit out and open GPS phone. Now as you can see the top bar and the bottom black bars uh, appear on the iPhone 5 because it's not scaled for the iPhone 5 yet but it still works. Now simply you're going to see the ROM over here uh, Pokemon Emerald and I'm not going to open it because the sound will go away while I'm recording so yeah, that's all you gotta do. You gotta click the ROM, and you can open it in either landscape or portrait modes. And if you go into options, you can actually select skins for the keypad. And scaling is pretty nice, which lets you get a full screen view of your uh, ROM. Uh, there's also Wiimote support. If you have a Wii remote, you can use that. Uh, and there are a lot of other features. You can save your ROM, you know, you know, it's basically a Game Boy Advance full featured for an iOS device. You can also input cheats, which is pretty nice. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Um, this is a tutorial on how to put the Game Boy Advance emulator successfully on your uh, iOS device. If you have any questions or comments uh, regarding this video and you need further help, please feel free to keep them in the comments section. And thanks for watching.